Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. As you know, I've been crazy about Prowlers and Monster Hunter Double Cross. So at the end game, I wanted to find the most efficient and probably the most boring method of leveling up a cat. Now this is what I call the disposable cat method. Um, the goal is to level up three Prowlers at the same time from level 60, 61, which is how you can scout them at the end game, to their level max, which is level 99, in just under two hours. This method will cover exactly how to do it, I'll even show you it in the actual game. Now what you will need is about one and a half to two hours, depending on what 3DS you're using and if you're going to be watching TV while you do this uh, and other stuff like that. You will need about 250 Kelby Horns or more and a lot of patience. Now there are two requirements, one is you have to have unlocked the ability to scout level 60 cats. For that you'll just have to beat G rank, so get all the way through and kill the Mantis. And then you'll also need to have unlocked the level cap for the cats. You can do this two different ways. You can hit HR35 or you can go and do the G2 Prowler quest against, I believe it's a Kongalala. Now this method is going to use the dojo and the training guides. Now as you know, if a cat has max enthusiasm, you can send them in the dojo to do intensive training up to 10 times. Which means after 10 full hunts, not gathering quests, um, you'll come back and the cat will have hopefully leveled up. Now normally the training in the dojo is useless, like they barely level up, maybe one level in 10 hunts, totally useless. Um, there is a blue training guide which you can do as a tip when you request to send them into training. This thing stinks, it doesn't do much of anything at all. But the red and purple ones are amazing. We're going to be using the red one for this method because it's easy to farm. So basically to get these you need to take a cat on 10 hunts. Now that could be 10 Kelby quests which we're going to do, uh, but 10 full hunts. And once you do that, you'll earn one of the training guides. Now, if you have a cat that is level 20 or above, you'll get a blue one. A level 35 or above, you'll get a red one. And 65 or above, you'll get the awesome purple one, which we're not going to be doing because you can only scout cats at level 60 to 62. But you do get the red and blue just from taking the cat on 10 hunts. And if you send him in for 10 uh, quests to level up, he will gain about 6 levels every time you do a cycle of 10 quests, which is really good. It's almost, I'd say, higher than, you know, one level every two hunts, which is pretty good when you consider we're going to just be doing Kelby delivery quests. Okay, now for the method of disposable cats, we'll be doing the following steps. First, we're going to scout three garbage cats, which we're just going to use and throw away. I know it's mean. Uh, we're going to set up those three cats so that we uh, that we want to train, so they'll put them in the dojo. We'll do ten Kelby quest horn quests. And that will unlock the red books for both the cat that we're playing as and the other two companion palicos. We'll then do a power nap, which just takes one Kelby quest to bring the enthusiasm of our three training cats back up to max. Then we're going to rinse and repeat. So we're going to scout three new cats again, do ten more quests, and just keep doing it. And it takes about seven, seven and a half uh, times in order to max out your cat. Now when looking at the conditions, you definitely want to be doing this either in Burna Village or Kokoto Village. They are the fastest ones for recycling these quests. I've timed them out. I'm um, using a new 3DS. I am using a Class 10 memory card, although I don't think that matters because I'm not saving. Um, you can go in from the very start of the village, take the quest, go on the quest, deliver the horns, skip past the save, go back to town in approximately 1 minute and 13 seconds. It takes about a minute 24 seconds on an old uh, 3DS or a 2DS. So that is an additional 15 minutes overall for the entire cycles. Um, it does take about three and a half minutes to do that full recycling point where you're swapping out for a new three cats, you're doing the power nap, and then you're setting up the cats for another cycle of 10. Um, so about 12 and a half minutes total per cycle. So overall about an hour and 45 minutes. Let me do one cycle here to show you exactly what it looks like when you're doing it. I went ahead and put the timer here. I am going to skip past a lot of this, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to force you to see everything. That would just be stupid. <laughs> so we're going to go over here and I just power napped my cats because I wanted to make sure that they had high enthusiasm. So you can see at their default they're about level 61, 62. So that's pretty much what you'll scout at at the very end game, which is great because you can use them right out of the box. We're going to go ahead and select training. So select the cat, make sure on, you select 10 times, and then the item that you want is the red scroll. And go ahead and set up the training, and we're going to do that for all three cats that we want to level up. You don't have to do three cats, you can just do one if you want to, but I mean, it's the same amount of steps, so you may as well level up three cats at once. I highly recommend you do guard, or protect, um, the collect cat, and also beast. So guard, collect, beast. Those are the three best cats in this game. I'll be going into more details a lot later. 
um, in another video telling you why, but if you just want the three coolest cats, those are the ones to make. So we're going to go over here and we're going to get three garbage cats that we're going to dispose. I know it's mean for me to call it disposable, but that's exactly what we're going to do. Go ahead and rename them something stupid like period. <laughs> something that's very easy to tell them apart from your other cats. I just use whatever, just random thing. Um, again, these cats are just going to be used for their red scrolls and then we're going to say goodbye and send them off to hopefully an owner that actually wants them. Now this is pretty inefficient what I'm doing here. I'm just taking my time. I'm not doing in Kokoto, uh, which you could do because you have the trainer right there. Um, I'm just doing this so you guys can see all the steps. Go ahead and make sure that you switch all three cats, the one you're using, and your two Palicos to those ones that you just scouted. Because these cats we've never used before, which means 10 Kelby quests will get our red book. Make sure you have Kelby horns. I've made that mistake before. <laughs> Where you go out and you don't have horns and it's horrible. And this is where it really starts. So learn how to do this fast. Go in here, skip through the dialogue. You go up, down, in, down four, and select it. That's the Kelby quest. I'll do this much faster. I was just taking my time to show you guys here now. Go ahead and select to go on the quest and wait for the loading. And this is where the new 3DS is much better than the 2DS or the old 3DS. You'll gain about, I'd say, 10 seconds overall for the entire loop here. Go ahead and deliver your three horns. Now you can just goof around here if you want to, you can just let it sit there if you're watching TV, or there is the village elder in the back of this base camp, and you can go and get a few free items if you want them. I personally don't care, so I usually just chill out. Um, but again, 20 seconds, it's up to you how you want to spend it. Just don't leave the area and start collecting stuff, because that will just add in more screens at the end of this quest, and you don't want that. Go ahead and sell all the items when you get to this. Um, hit the A button to get past the four screens and then hit B so you don't save. You don't want to save every hunt because that's just a waste of time. So here, just sell them quick out A, 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 B, B, and get out of there. Now watch, we're going to rush in and do it as fast as we can. It's like a time attack. <laughs> Again, Burnout or Kokoto both are great. Yukumo is like four seconds longer to do this method um, of taking the quest and doing it just because the map is so long. Uh, so just make sure you're using one of those two villages. I like Kokoto because when you do Kokoto, you can rescout your cats right there. Um, but Burn is nice because you can go and get the books very easily. So they work out to pretty much be the same. And again, like each time it only takes about 20 seconds of input. So you can totally do this while you're watching TV. Um, and it's just a nice way to level up your cats. Now I'm not going to show you doing 10 full cycles here. So I'm going to go ahead with the power of editing and skip over once we finish our 10th quest. Okay, 10th quest, we're about 10 minutes later in, so if you see here, we're almost at about 14 minutes, not so bad, especially considering that at the very start, I was being very slow in showing you all the different steps. Boo, 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 boo. You can go ahead and save here if you want. Now, if you notice, you'll hit that little icon on the burner one, that's telling you that you've done uh, 10 quests, you do unlock your books. So go ahead and go into this plaza, talk to the cat, and it will give you both a blue and a red book for having completed 10 quests with this new cat. Talk to it again to get a G or whatever, the Palico ticket. And now it's time to do the rinse and recycle period. So we're going to go in and check out how our cats bear. Now remember, they were level 62 and 61, I believe. Um, so let's go ahead and check out how much the experience they got. Do, 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 do. So we've got, yeah, level 67 and 68. So they're looking good. They go up pretty much six levels every single time. Even as you encroach towards the end, it's like five, six levels. So very good item. Go ahead and set them up for a power nap. Now, I could go and swap out my cats because the ones I'm using now are going to be pretty much useless because I've already got my books. Uh, but I'm just going to do this just because I'm lazy and I like to sync it up. So go ahead and do one more Kelby quest so that we have the power nap done and they're back up to max enthusiasm. And okay, we are now ready to start a new cycle. So go ahead and scout three new cats that you're going to use for the next set of 10. And then we're going to say goodbye to the three cats that we had. Again, think of it like you're sending them to a better home or an owner that actually cares about them. Um, definitely make sure that you look into your scouting before you go ahead and do all this level up. Make sure it's the type of build and the cat that you want. I do hope to have some videos up uh, sometime soon, but on my Tumblr, I did do a post about what the optimal builds were. And it's pretty much the BBCCCC or the BBBCC. Um, they're both very good configurations for their passive and their active skills. 
So we're going to go here and set up the cats. Now, if you do the uh, goodbye um, sort of dismiss thing for here in your room, you won't have to see that animation. So it's much faster. And for those of you who find it sad, you won't have to feel bad. Anyways, that is the full method. Go ahead to set the cats up again for leveling up and we're ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys get into Prowler if you have Monster Hunter Double Cross and I hope this game comes to the West. The fact that Stories was announced gives me a lot of hope that they have a lot more Monster Hunter in store for the West, so I think things are looking pretty good. Until next time, happy scouting.